name's Marina. Hey everyone, I'm Jerry. Hi, I'm Jesse, and we're the Naturalists, a part of the San Francisco Unified School District's Environmental Science Center out at Fort Funston. Hey there, welcome to Fort Funston again. Today we're looking at ravens. Let's take a look at ravens. Ravens can be found almost all over the world. This includes areas such as forests, mountains, deserts, and even cities where we live. Ravens will eat almost anything. They are known to eat the leftovers from other animals, as well as find and catch their own food, such as fruits, berries, and smaller animals. Ravens have also been found looking through garbage bins and trash for food. Hey Jerry, what time is it? Perfect! Fort Funston is home to the Ramitish Ohlone people, who are the original people from San Francisco. They have been here for over 10,000 years. Seeing how they take care of their land teaches us how to give back to the earth in the form of stewardship. Stewardship means protecting and respecting the plants, animals, and other people that live in your community and on this planet. A lot of people get ravens and crows mixed up because they look very similar. We are going to show you two different ways to tell the difference between ravens and crows. The first is how they sound. Crows tend to have a caw caw sound like this, while ravens have a deeper croaking sound like this. Another way to tell them apart is by their neck feathers. Crows have smooth neck feathers while ravens have longer, fancier neck feathers. Now you can tell the difference between ravens and crows. Can you figure out if this bird is a raven or is it a crow? If you said raven, you are correct. Do you love going to and playing at the park? One way that scientists like you and me can help take care of these places is by respecting plants and animals when we see them. Giving animals lots of space when we see them at our parks is one way that we can practice taking care of the nature in our neighborhoods. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. Catch us next time on Neighborhood Nature.